Look, all I'm saying is, these base bars had to go. All right, so the problem I'm having right now is with these handlebars. And if you look at this little curb right here, man, when I'm riding on these bars, I cannot stand that curb, man. It's just like annoying. So what I got to replace that is I got these, these base bars and then the Pro Missile base bars. And I love how this hand rest is flat. I think it's going to be so much better when it's on the bike. Better and comfortable. Also, these have a 5 millimeter drop. So it should drop the bars just a little bit lower to give me some space from the aero pads when I'm riding. Um, also, my bars, the base bars I have on here right now are 420 millimeters. And these new ones, as you can see, is a... 400 and the reason why I went with the 400 is because uh, I did my measurement of my shoulders and it was at 400 and the last bike I had I had went to a uh, Different type of base bar and I did a 400 and I really liked it. So we're gonna get these swapped out and then uh, Do some riding All right What's going on? Let's talk about some base bars, right? Getting right to it. So, the new base bars. I got the um, the Pro Missile. And, man, I'm about to say, I got I had them on the bike for, I don't know, a couple weeks now. Uh, I probably logged about 400 miles on the bike with the new bars. And I got to say, man, I, I, I love it. It's just... It's pretty much everything I thought it was going to be. Um, I can't really complain as far as the way they handle, the way they feel, the price point. I feel it was like a win-win all the way around. I did do some minor adjustments to make it work for me. Um, and what I mean by that is a lot of the bars, the, the grip, uh, the diameter is very small. And I personally just don't like small grip things. I like the larger grip. So what I did was I put a piece of um, pretty much like the rubber grips. I put the rubber grips on the base bars and then I wrapped them with the bar tape. And I did the same thing for my arrow bars. So that way, like when I show you a picture of it, you'll see. Matter of fact, here's a picture of it right here. And if you look at the diameter of my bar, it's, it's a lot thicker. But I just personally like a thicker grip. And kind of going back to what I said before. So the bars I had before were these and they're a profile design base bar and they're the wing t2 and the biggest thing i didn't like about it i didn't like this angle right here so like most of the time when i'm riding i'm in the aero bars anyway but the times i kind of sit up or i just need to use my brakes kind of going into corners coming out of corners or if i'm going into a sprint this little angle right here it just it just kind of put a, a torque on my wrist and it just i mean it just it just wasn't working for me um so I had to change it, <laughs> my bad. So I really like the profile design. They make a lot of good stuff. I was gonna go with the profile design carbon bar, but the reason I didn't go with carbon bars is because um, the mainly like the torque spec. And like me, I do a lot of adjustments on my bike. So having, I think if you have carbon, you should have carbon everything. You should have a carbon stem, carbon base bar, carbon arrow bars and right now I have like a alloy you know alloy stem alloy base bar alloy arrow bars and whenever I'm making adjustments on the bike and when I say adjustments it's like so right now on my on my stack height I think I have 40 millimeters high and then sometimes I'm, I'm feeling I'm feeling more more nimble and I'm like you know what I want to slam it so I may drop it I may drop it 20 millimeters or 40 millimeters, you know, and I may ride it a couple of times and you know, I'm going to raise it back up. And every time I adjust my bike, anything to do with the front, the handling, the seat, anything to do with the bike, I always torque it to spec because when you ride in like 30 miles an hour on the bike, 
uh, that ain't the time to figure out like, man, is this really tight? So I'm always torquing stuff down. So when you have carbon, you can over torque something and possibly crack or damage it. So that's why I didn't want to get into carbon, uh, having a carbon base bar, because I'm always adjusting my bars and my riding position or my riding style. And they make stuff that um, helps fix or alleviate those issues. And some of those things is, um, it's this thing called, matter of fact, um, what is it called? Uh, fiber gel, right? And in fiber gel, all that is, is let's say you got to use, hypothetically, you got to use like 20 pounds of torque to torque carbon down. If you use the fiber gel, the fiber gel, it's a gel and it's kind of like a Loctite. So instead of 20 pounds, you only need like 10 or 15. And I really like the concept, but I don't know how hard it is to take that gel off or once you, um, I guess, break the seal, how is it, is it still good? Do you have to reapply it? And like I said, I'm doing so many adjustments. I know I didn't want to get into messing with that, especially when it comes to the handling of the bike. So I just went with an alloy, alloy bar because it just, it just, it was better for me. And the pro missile, I mean, it's just, man, it's, it's lovely. I just, I just love it. And I think the thing I like the most about the bar, I mean, is dude, the bike is so clean. It's so like, just, just look at this. It's so simple. It's so clean. I mean, it looks aggressive. Like, I just love it. I mean, I, I really can't complain. So, I mean, if you're looking for a new base bar, something simple, good price point, uh, handling, performance, and you think it's going to work for you, I mean, check out the Pro Missile. I mean, you can't go wrong with it. Great buy, great pick. Yo, like, vibe, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, underscore. Rob Armstrong and check me out on Strava.